The assault on free and fair elections is just such a threat, literally. I've said it before. We're facing the most significant test of our democracy since the Civil War. That's not hyperbole. Since the Civil War. The Confederates, back then, never breached the Capitol, as insurrectionists did on January the 6th. I'm not saying this to alarm you. I'm saying this because you should be alarmed. I'm also saying this. There's good news. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be, for real. We have the means. We just need the will. The will to save and strengthen our democracy. We did in, 20, we did in the 2020. The battle for the soul of America, in that battle, the people voted. Democracy prevailed. Our Constitution held. We have to do it again. My fellow Americans, it requires fair-mindedness, devotion to justice, corny as it sounds, love a country. It requires us to unite in common purpose and declare here and now, we, the people, will never give up. We will not give in. We will overcome. We will do it together. From guaranteeing the right to vote, ensuring every vote is counted, has always been the most patriotic thing we can do. Just remember, our late friend John Lewis said, freedom is not a state, it's an act. Freedom is not a state, it's an act. And we must act and we will act. For our cause is just, our vision is clear, and our hearts are full. For we the people, for our democracy, for America itself, we must act. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops and all those who stand to watch over our democracy. But act, we've got to act.